Here we go. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's yours truly back, guys. Ready for Survivor Winners at War, season 40. And it's gonna be epic, guys. You got some, excuse me, some old school winners. Ethan Zahn, love that he's back. Sandra, wow. Boston Rob, his wife, Amber. Wow. Then you got, um, you got poverty. You got, um, you got Tony and Sarah, the two cops. Then you got, uh, Wendell and Nick, Denise. Wow. Natalie Anderson, one of my favorites, Jeremy Collins, Michelle Fitzgerald. Wow. Uh, Danny Boltwright from, uh, Guatemala. Um... Wow, what what a cast, guys. What an awesome cast. Um, and then this is going to be interesting. You've got Edge of Extinction back, which if they're going to bring Edge of Extinction back, guys, this is the season to have it. Not with a bunch of newbies. Oh, and they have some seasons which I don't like, like last season when they have favorites, you know, fans versus favorites. They shouldn't have an Edge of Extinction for that because it's not fair. For, for, but for this season, when is that war, you got to have it to me. Oh, I forgot about Ben. Adam, you how can I forget about Yule? Yule is back, and I think I said just about all of them, I think. Oh, Sophie, some of them that I forget, Sophie. So a great cast, guys. Edge of Extinction is back. Then they have this thing with the tokens. I saw an interview with Jeff on um, EW. I don't know how that'll pan out, though. We'll see. I mean, I'm pulling for Ethan, Boston Rob, even Ian, but some of the old school ones I'm pulling for. But I also like Jeremy. I like Danny. Oh, Tyson. I love Tyson. Natalie said in one of her interviews with ET Canada, a women's alliance. She's not really a big Survivor fan. I think she's the least Survivor fan out of all of them. She didn't stop watching. I read in her bio till the first Blood vs. Water season. So she's really not a Survivor Fan, but maybe she'll do good too. And oh, and of course, Kim Sprath. I forgot about her. Kim is one of my favorites. They better watch out for her. She'll probably lay low. And you got the bigger eagles like Boston Rob and Sarah, Tony, you know, Amber. Because with Boston Rob, Sandra's gonna have a big target on her back. So I think I could see Kim and uh, Danny Boltwright, you know, playing low key. We'll see what happens, though. This is going to be a great season, though. I can't wait. I'm a little disappointed, guys, though. I wish Richard Hatch would be on, but I think it's because of the controversy with season 39, you know, with Dan and, and the Kelly situation, all the touching issues, and what happened with him in All Stars. And I think production, they felt it was too soon to bring him back, even though it's an all-winner season. I think he's going to be back, though, in a future season when this is settled down. Love to see him go up against like a Russell, you know, and all that too. That would be awesome. Even Teen, I don't know why Teen isn't back. She was the first female winner and all that. Vesepia, I get, well, Vesepia is not a memorable winner. Brian Heideck was a pretty good winner, but Thailand wasn't really a good season and there was a lot of bad blood. So, and I know Jeff wasn't too crazy about Thailand. Jenna Maraska, a little bit disappointed she's not back. Would have loved to seen her work with like Amber Poverty, Kim Spradlin, Sarah, with the, some of these uh, newer players, but I guess, I don't know, I think she had some issues too. Then you have, who else? Chris D from a Vanuatu, but he's not really a memorable winner either. Tom Westman, I, like Hatch, I don't know why he isn't back on. Maybe he turned it down. I know he was iffy when he came back on Heroes and Villains, and maybe it's his age, so I don't know why he isn't back. Then you got Iris from, uh, um, um, Exile Island, but I think as he came back, Blood versus Water, and with his brother, so I don't really care much about that. Earl would have been a great winner in Fiji. I know Fiji's not a great season either, but I think he, he had a, a kid that was born right when filming happened, and it was I think it was born prematurely or something, so can't blame him with that. Todd would have been a great one to bring back for this season too, but he had some issues with drinking. And all that too. I don't know if he's still recovered. And he played almost like a Richard Hatch type of a game. Very good strategist. Worked the jury. He didn't win a challenge, but he but he earned the jury's respect and he won the game. Um, so I would have loved to seen him back. 
Um, then you got JT, but I think it's JT played three times, and since he came back in Heroes and Villains with the idol with Russell that led to his demise in the Heroes, then he had a terrible game in um, Game Changes, you know, where he went home with an idol in his pocket, so I can't say that that's too big of a deal. Oh, Bob Crowley in Gabon, but he was the oldest ever. He's, I think, almost 70, and Gabon wasn't a good season either. Natalie Lee White Samoa, come on, that's not a big thing. Now, if Russell won, you know he would have been back for this. You know, it's unfortunate with Natalie, but that's easy to say. And then Fabio, another bad winner too. Him, I don't care that he's not back. Then you got um. Cochran and uh, uh, Caramon, but I think you Cochran made it clear he wasn't coming back, and Jeff and the producers love him, and then last but not least, you got Mike Holloway, season 30, Worlds Apart, he's like a Tom Westman, but I guess eh, that kind of had bad blood too, but he would've, wouldn't have been bad to bring back either, and then the most recent ones, you know, Chris, Edge of Extinction, and Tommy, and Island of the Idols, but that's when filming started, and, and that's not a big thing that they're not bad. So that's my thing, guys. But a great cast, guys. I love that again. You got Boston Rob, Sandra Amber, Yule, Poverty, uh, Ethan, of course, Tony, uh, Danny under the radar. I love Kim Spradlin, Denise, Adam, Michelle, um, Ben. Ben could be under the radar too. You know, the, the Marine guy. Remember, he won the first ever fire making challenge, which people criticized, because some would say he would have been voted out in the final four, but that was history too, there's all these twisted turns, and Wendell, and the first ever tie vote at final tribal, and his uh, girl Laurel voted for him at the final uh, tribal there, that was epic too, so a lot to look forward to guys, and Nick too, Nick might be under the radar too, so we'll see guys, I think it's going to be a great season guys, I can't wait guys, a lot of twists and turns to look forward with two guys. So let's go. <laughs>